Hi everybody, time for me to make a new video. I've been watching Julia Gillard this last few weeks in Parliament and I'm gobsmacked. I'm gobsmacked. Never, never have I ever seen a Prime Minister of Australia stoop so low and with such um, the vindictiveness in her voice and you know we're really starting to see the real Julia Gillard and how ugly she is. She's ugly on the inside. This woman is just the m nastiest piece of work. I get on here and I swear like a trooper but this woman takes it to a whole new low. She is just the most disgusting person and you can see the hate in her in her voice and in her face the way she attacks the opposition and she said to Tony um, Abbott the other day she said she was she the, the way she attacked him was just unbelievable you have to get on there and have a look and she spat at him why don't you get up you gutless why don't you get up Julia love it's called dignity and class. Of course you don't understand or recognize it because you possess none of it. You are the most disgusting person I have ever seen in Parliament. And <coughs> the other thing is, I my respect for the any Labour politician has completely gone out the window for backing this person. They're sitting there going along with her. They're leaving her in there. So it gives you an insight into the sort of people they are to be, to be allowing this person to keep going. She's just disgusting. I've never, ever seen anything like it. And I had a very, very close uh, person, uh, friend over here, somebody very close to me was over here, somebody very close to me this week. And he said, oh, what does it matter? It happened 20 years ago. You can imagine how well I took that. Um, so the pedophiles, the priest pedophiles, well, they did that 20 years ago. Shall we just drop that, shall we? doesn't matter. It happened 20 years ago. Oh, it matters. It matters. She, Her and her scumbag friends ripped off the union. Uh, honest workers, hardworking union payers, the the blue-collar workers, people that pay into the unions, hoping that these people are going to look after their welfare, not have some union boss skim it off, skimming it into a, an account to pay for houses for him and his mates and, and their mistresses. That's what it matters. You know, this, she's not fit to be a lawyer, but she's, they sacked her. She's not fit to be a lawyer. But she's running our country. That's what it matters. My God. It's like saying, oh, well, he murdered her 20 years ago. That doesn't really matter today, does it? It matters. It, it testifies to the um, character of this person. We are paying $22 million a day. We are paying $22 million a day in interest on what she has borrowed. $22 million a day in interest on what Gillard has borrowed. You have to say it like that to have people sink into their heads what she's done to this country. And somebody left a comment on one of my videos last week saying, oh, she's not the worst Prime Minister, uh, um, Australia is the envy of the world. The only reason we are the envy, or we aren't the envy anyway, the only reason our head is above water is because of our mining. Without our mining, this country would be screwed. Without the mining, we would be screwed. And she is just pissing it in the wind. Yeah, I had to get the swear words in there. She's just... I can't, <clears throat> she's just the most unbelievably bad, worst Prime Minister I've ever seen. She's substandard minister anyway, not Prime Minister. You can't call her uh, Prime. There's nothing Prime about her. Prime scumbag. Oh, isn't that what she used? Or one of her friends? Oh, uh, that's another thing. Craig Emerson. 
got up and he's going, oh, you know, the opposition's doing this and they should drop it. Uh, now, Craigie, why are you doing that? Oh, that's right. You were once her boyfriend. Yes, that's right. A federal uh, Labor MP, Craig Emerson, was her boyfriend. How many men has this woman slept with and got them on her side in the parliament? I can't believe what's happened to this country. I just can't believe it. I can't believe that somebody is crooked and dishonest as this woman is, I will never introduce a carbon tax and then she slugs it with us and everybody's complaining about their electricity bills now. She lies through her teeth. How could she be running this country? Oh, she is running it. She's running it into the ground. <clears throat> the other point that uh, I meant to bring up was it matters for the fact that people in Parliament are meant to be trusted members of the public, trusted members of the public. These people are making decisions for us, for the whole of us, 23 million people in Australia, these 150 that are making the decisions for us. So they have to be trusted. And her and this whole slush fund is as crooked as she is. You know, the... I don't know what to say. It's just so frustrating to see somebody like this, this woman, just denigrating Australia like this. And to see the hatred and vile in her and the, the, the way she vilifies people and the hatred that she spits out at them. And now she's singling out old white men as, you know, they're the ones that don't like her. No, love. I'm a woman. I can't stand you. I know lots of women. And I'm 52, but there's a lot of younger women out there who can't stand you. You don't speak for us. You don't stand up for us. You're disgusting. Get off the pedestal, love. That's all, guys. Smile and Merry Christmas. Oh, okay, I'll say that again in a month. Bye.